Hi there, my name is Julia Kupke and I am super happy to share a little bit of practice with you. Um, my idea was about movement and meditation to connect with each other, but also to connect with ourselves. I think um, this is really one way to connect with, with others, to connect with ourselves. I can see that with myself that when I am really in tune with myself and uh, I'm connected and I have my, my practice for myself, whatever that is, it's not only on the mat, but also off the mat. Then I see that all of the relationships I'm having, all of the connections I'm having, may it be with other uh, humans, but also with nature, with animals, any, and everything shifts then. So this is really more about slowing down. Uh, we are having this mantra sometimes with the uh, Strala Yoga community of, um, drop fancy try simple so it's really about the simple things it doesn't have to be fancy to do something often it's really simple and easy things that have a big impact and a big effect and um, I also came to the idea lately of drop rushing try slowing because I can see that may it be my personality or may it be the surrounding or society or whatever but I tend to rush myself sometimes and I can see that so much more actually is happen happening when I'm slowing down and I can also see that in my practice of movement and of meditation when it comes to being on the mat that being a bit slower is sometimes not so easy it can sometimes be a little bit more uh, challenging to actually really move well in a slow way but um, it just gives me so much more so I hope I can share this experience with you that we can um, connect with each other by by sharing this practice and also each of um, each of us connecting with ourselves so you don't need anything just yourself maybe you have a mat this is great but if you don't have any mat no worries you can still do this practice and you can come to a comfortable seat this can be cross-legged or anything else that feels good for you right now if this is giving you not a good feeling right now then just switch to something different and if it feels good for you maybe you want to close your eyes right now to really shift into this moment of going inward and tuning into yourself if this doesn't feel good at the moment then maybe you can see at a point in front of you where you just have a gentle gaze and maybe you will close your eyes later and then start to tune in a bit more with your breath bringing your attention to your breath seeing how Every inhale is expanding you lightly and everything flows back with your exhale. Easy and natural breathing. You don't have to force or to change anything here. And while tuning in with your breath, you can also Get into a little bit more connection with your body, maybe through a bit of movement, leaning just to one side or the other, whatever feels good here, to come and begin this dialogue or conversation with your body. Seeing if there is a bit of tension here or there where you can let go, just finding more ground, more of a stable seat. Maybe you can also shift with your attention to what's going on in your mind, your thoughts, and just let them be for a while. Don't cling to them. Don't follow them. Just let them be as they are. Breathing softly and gently. Easy inhale. And soft exhale. And with your next inhale, float your arms up high so you can stretch a little bit here. 
and bring your hands together in front of your chest. Maybe you want to feel your heart beating for you for a few moments. We don't do that so often, but it's such a simple practice to really feel yourself and connect with yourself. Just feeling and listening to your heartbeat. deep breath through your nose and easy exhale through your mouth easy inhale soft exhale soft inhale and long and full exhale your arms slide back so you can rest your hands on your thighs and just observe and notice what is right now no judgment just seeing what is begin with a bit of exploration and movement it's really like a journey so you can crawl back a little bit with your hands lean a little bit back here and then maybe slightly to your right side so you can easily stretch your left leg to the front or to the side whatever feels good here it's really the beginning of a dialogue of a conversation to see maybe a little twist will do you some good or you're just leaning back and eventually you can just crawl to the front maybe over your leg or maybe more to the open space and allow your leg to be soft let the joints be soft your knee can be bent everything that feels easy It's really similar with having with having a conversation or a dialogue with a person. We also want to land softly and just to connect with each other and then let everything evolve. See that you are soft in your neck, let go in your jaw. Maybe you drop your head for a bit. There's always this space for exploration experimenting with uh, some movements and then gently roll yourself up again crawling back so you can lean back again and then trade your side bring your left leg to your body stretch your right back to the front or to the side and then just listen what feels good here not so much thinking about the movement, but really feeling and tuning into it. A little bit of a twist to the side or just leaning back here, finding your stable position. And then gently crawl again towards this leg or maybe more to the open space, coming to your forearms. Your knee can be bent. Whatever feels good here to come into a nice stretch and a nice movement. And it's not so much about being in movement permanently, it's really like movement is guiding us and helping us to find new spots and new spaces in our body and with that in our mind as well. Easy in your back, your neck and your head. few more breath here really easy and then roll up gently crawling backwards again opening up the front of your body a little bit however that feels good for you and then you can stretch both legs to the front wide or narrow whatever is good for you here Again, you can come into a little bit of a twist, leaning from one side to the other. 
keep your body movable so that it can really follow the movements you are guiding from your middle. And then leaning back, opening up, and with your exhale, beginning to crawl forward again, finding your position here, making sure that you are also soft and without any tension in your hands and in your legs, in your head, your neck. Maybe you do a little bit of a scan through your body to see if there is any part where you're still holding some tension. Maybe it's in your face. Sometimes it's really like very, very small parts in our bodies where we're used to hold tension. For some it's the jaw or the eyes or the eyebrows. So allow yourself to get soft here. A few more breaths. Easy inhale and soft exhale. Roll yourself up again. Maybe support yourself with your hands so it's really a crawl. And then from here, lean to your right side so you can begin another journey to come to all fours. And it can really be a journey. Don't let yourself be limited by your mat. It's just this mat that is supporting us, so it's not so hard on the ground, but it's not a mat that is limiting our movement. So feel free to also move outside of this shape. On all fours, you can just begin to do whatever movement feels good for you. Sometimes it's easier to do that with closed eyes. So maybe if you want to try this, just lean from one side to the other, to the front side and back. Maybe you lean so much to one side that the other side can relax for a bit. You can almost lose ground here. Coming into more organic ways of moving, not so linear. shifting your weight from one side to the other you can slowly start to begin your journey into down dog maybe you lift up one knee then the other lifting up your hip with your inhale and with your exhale soften your legs and your arms your shoulders and you're here and maybe not so much thinking about the pose of a down dog but more of this exploration of what is really going on here Again, coming into dialogue with your body, seeing where you could use a little bit more of a scratch. You can go in all directions you want to go. And with leaning from one side to the other, from your hips, from your middle, you can start a nice crawl, just bringing one leg, one arm, and then on the other side, one leg, one arm to the front. So you arrive in a nice forward fold, easy. And if it feels good, you can bend your knees, stay soft in your legs, soft in your shoulders. Seeing what's going on on the sides here. And from your middle, begin to roll yourself up slowly without any hurry. And your inhale is lifting you up high. And with the exhale, begin to flow down again. Two more times in your pace and rhythm. Roll yourself up. Inhale lifts you up. Exhale, let go, soften down. One more time for you. Really noticing what is going on. And then when you're down in your forward fold again, you can lean to one side so you can easily step back Lean to the other side, step back with your foot to come into another down dog. 
do what feels good for you here, maybe a little stretch to the side, something almost like a twist, whatever evolves. And then roll yourself like a wave to a plank position. Maybe you want to change your base here, change the stand of your feet with your hand. Really soft, soft in your legs, in your arms. It's not about strength so much. It's more about staying movable, movable and soft so you can breathe. And then let one knee after the other come down to the ground. Let your hip flow down forward to the ground. Opening up here, however it feels good. If this is too intense, maybe you take a crawl here, coming down to your forearms or one forearm. Maybe taking a look over the shoulder. Exploring, really like in a laboratory. And then put your hands under your shoulders again so you can lift yourself up, coming back into another down dog, really finding your way to going there. Once again, crawl to the front of your mat, leaning from one side to the other. Easy crawl. With your next inhale, you can lengthen your back and support yourself on your legs. And with your exhale, flow down again. And then lean yourself a little bit more to the right side so you can easily go back with your left foot so you can Go into this nice stretch here, letting yourself arrive, leaning from one side to the other. And then bring your knee down. And with your inhale, roll yourself up. Everything goes up. Let your arms flow easily. And with the exhale, let go. A few more breaths here. If this feels too intense on your arms or shoulders, you can just lean on your thigh. Just twist a little bit. And crawling back to the ground again. And from here, leaning to the left side so much that you can easily bring your right foot and leg back again. Again, coming into a nice down dog. Another crawl. Maybe you find another way now. Just observing what are your habits, where do you use the easiest way. And then from here, leaning a little bit more to the left side now, so we can trade sides, bring your right foot step back. Stretch out here. Really easy on your hips, finding a right base that is supporting you. Let your knee flow down. And with your inhale, roll yourself up from your middle. Arms might lift up. And let go with your exhale. And again, if that doesn't feel so good for you right now, if it's too intense, then just with your exhale, let the arms come down again. Maybe you just lean on your thigh for a bit. Seeing what's going on, there's still a nice stretch. Your body is still doing something. And then lean your side, yourself to the open side, to the right. You can easily bring your left leg back here. And again, coming into another down dog. Just what feels good for you, easy movements, and really trying to slow down. Of course, we could also move way faster, but this is a possibility to really observe and understand how we can move well. And really moving with help of our breath. 
So lean to your right side so you can easily bring up your left leg with your inhale. Nice stretch. And with your exhale, bring the foot to the front. Make space to bring your foot here. Find a stable base. Exhale, let you flow down. With your inhale, roll yourself up. And exhale, let go. Really easy. Inhale, roll yourself up. And exhale, flow back. Inhale brings you up one more time. And with your exhale, lean yourself to the open right side so you can easily bring your left leg back again. And if we're going to the other side, lean to the left side. With your inhale, bring your right leg up. Nice and easy stretch. And with your exhale, bring the foot to the front, make space where you want to go. Find a stable base here, use the exhale to let go. With your inhale, lift yourself up from your middle. And exhale, let go. Inhale, easy up. And exhale, let go. Inhale, come up one more time. And exhale, easy, lean yourself to the open left side so you can bring your leg back from your middle to down dog. From here, we're going into another nice crawl. Just one leg, one arm, maybe to the middle of your mat. Once again, roll yourself up. Inhale, lifts everything up high. And exhale, let everything flow down again. And then lean yourself a little bit more to the front, to your fingertips. Maybe you, maybe you bend your knees really for that. So you can open up your stand a little bit more. And from here, let yourself sink down into a squat. Really nice and easy. Maybe you're more here. Maybe you're more there. Just let everything happen without thinking about where you want to go. Wander around a bit. It's still a little bit like crawling around you, leaning from one side to the other, finding out where there are nice spots. And maybe this is just what you need right now, just being here could also just place your hands on the ground, round your back, letting go in your head. If you're up for a little bit more movement right now, you can easily lean forward with your inhale, back with your exhale. Inhale brings you forward and exhale backward. Maybe one foot or both are lifting up from the ground. If it feels good, if it happens just out of the movement. And if you're ending up here, stay soft, stay movable. And we're meeting again in the middle, in the center. Crawl back with your hands so you can come down to the ground. Stretch your legs in front of you again. Maybe first of all, just arriving here, leaning back, opening up. And then begin to crawl a little bit more forward. Sometimes even this can be really enough. Just a very simple seat, seeing what's going on in your body. Let your breath move yourself. With every inhale, you are lifting yourself up automatically with every exhale let go if you want to bend forward a bit more you can lean back again opening up and with your exhale just bending forward crawling forward allowing your legs to be bent your knees the joints in your knees to be easy 
viewing it from one side to the other. And reminding yourself on this dialogue with your body, with your mind, seeing what's actually going on. Gently rolling yourself up again. And this time leaning a little bit more to your left side so you can bring your left leg in front of you and easily just bringing your right leg behind you. Finding your way here without having this idea of an image or a certain pose that has to be found. And your left leg, your right leg can be straight like this or you can also bring it a little bit closer to your body. This time you can stay up here. Often we are going down when we're here. This time you can just stay up to be more aware of what is going on. Seeing what happens when you're staying here. I don't know if you see it, but the horses are observing us too <laughs> outside. Whenever you find a spot where it feels really good to linger for a little bit, just stay there. Keep on breathing. And then lean yourself to the left side again so you can easily bring that right leg back to the front and bring it next to the thigh of your left leg sitting upward here maybe just going from one side to the other a little bit and then with your inhale bring your arms up and with the exhale, twist yourself to the right side. Let the arms flow down easily. Every inhale is lifting you up. And every exhale, let go. Your breath is doing all the work, so there is no need you have to push yourself or stretch yourself aggressively into this twist. With your inhale, bring your arms up again. And then twist to the other side for a little counter pose. Let go here. And then again, lean to your left side so you can bring that right leg back again. One more time coming into this position. Maybe you can notice what changed from before. If there's anything different. And then to trade the sides, lean to the left side again, bringing your right leg to the front. And then just like one movement, leaning to the right side, bringing your left leg to the back. And as both sides are different for all of us, just see what feels good here. Maybe the leg is a bit more bent, a bit closer to your body. Maybe another type of twist or stretching that can serve you right here. more breaths for some easy movements or maybe also finding this right spot where it feels good to be for a few more breaths. And then again lean to your right side so you can easily slide your left leg to the front, bring it next to your thigh. Come into the seated position here, finding 
a nice base. With your inhale, lift your arms up and exhale, twist to the left side, just letting your arms flow down, let them land where they land. Inhale is lifting you up and exhale, softening you, letting you flow more into this twisted position without pushing or pulling. Few more breaths. Again, being in this dialogue, seeing what is happening. And then with your inhale, lift your arms up and twist to the other side for a nice counter pose. From here, roll yourself up to the center, bring your legs to the front one more time, and then bring your feet together in front of you. You can decide how, how close to your body or maybe a bit more apart you bring them, whatever feels good. And again, maybe being up here is already perfect for you. Maybe this is already giving you the stretch that you are searching for or that is just convenient for you right now. If you want to go a bit more into this stretch, lean back, open yourself up and then fold yourself easily with a crawl, support it with your hands and forearms to the ground, respecting your individual limit your body is giving you, not forcing you into something that's not right for you in this moment. Roll yourself up gently, coming up and going into a seated position that feels good for you right now come to an end of this practice and after we ended this you can also just lay down for a few more minutes to go into your individual and relaxation and just feel the ground laying there and being with you. For now just lay your hands on your thighs again. Tune in with your breath bringing more awareness to your inhale and your exhale. Maybe giving yourself, your body, your mind, your whole system um, a nice greeting, a nice little hello into this dialogue, into this connecting with yourself. Just easy breathing. With your inhale, let your arms float up again so you can stretch one more time. And then bring your hands in front of your heart. Again, if it feels good for you, you can connect with your own heartbeat, listening to your own rhythm. Easy inhale through your nose. Soft exhale through your mouth. Soft inhale. And easy exhale. 
easy inhale. And soft and long exhale. And then let yourself find your own pace and rhythm of breathing really naturally. Maybe giving yourself a little thank you, some gratitude for having the opportunity to practice with yourself, to gifting yourself with the time of self-care. Namaste. Thank you very much for practicing with me. And as I said, if it feels nice for you now to go into another round of end relaxation and just lay down on the ground and um, enjoy being there with yourself. Nothing to do for you, just being, breathing and feeling your body. I am thankful for the community, for the Strala community. I'm thankful for the opportunity of um, practicing together with you and connecting this way and um, yeah I'm happy to connect in every possible ways with you stay safe take good care bye bye <laughs>